Hey, what is going on guys? I hope you're all having a great week. So on this review, I, well, it made me go and revisit a lesson that I learned early on when I was taking care of my beard a few years ago. So with that being said, just keep watching. Hey, what's up guys? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I do beard stuff, I do shave stuff, I do some hair stuff, and occasionally uh, I find a bottle of you know bourbon or whiskey, something that I like, and I share that with you too. So if that sounds good to you, hit that button and you will know when that happens. Let's get this review started, all right? I did. I reached out to a company called Beard Zerker. Um, they are um, based in Ohio. They started in Tennessee. I spoke to Billy, uh, asked about doing a review, and he was very gracious and sent out uh, some product for me. He sent it in this nice little burlapy bag. I love these things. These are awesome. Um, and he also sent a little, this was attached to it on a card, and it says, Chris, thanks for giving us a look. Can't wait to hear what you think. All the best. Uh, the Beard Circuit team, Billy. So, Billy and team, thank you very much for this opportunity. I really do appreciate it. So let's get into the bag here. He sent out a one ounce bottle. This is the Uncle Doc uh, scent. Got a matching Uncle Doc beard balm. And I got a sample of the Breakers Bay Rum. All right, let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the packaging. On the beard oil, We've got, uh, it appears to be a plastic black bottle, which is cool. I haven't really seen that yet. I get a lot of glass or blue plastic. It's got a black label on it with the green. Uh, that just has a nice, very, I love the contrast there with the green and the black. It just has, it just really catches the eye. It has a pump system on it. Uh, great for travel. I do like the pump. Let's get into the ingredients for the beard oil here. So it is almond, jojoba, apricot, avocado, grapeseed, castor, love castor, vitamin E, flaxseed, and then fragrances. And then on the balm, we have shea butter, cocoa butter, beeswax, jojoba oil, castor oil, grapeseed, almond oil, apricot, and avocado oil, and then again, more fragrances. Well, let's get into how they smell. All right, so this is from me using it for, I, you know, I use these products for a week before I make the videos here, and this particular one smells like a sweet cinnamon. Um, like, yeah, it's kind of a sweet cinnamon smell. Uh, you might associate it with like apple pie, maybe like another cinnamon pastry, but it's real sweet. Um, definitely has like a sweet cinnamon and some fruit notes to it. So very pleasant, very nice. Uh, when you get it in the beard, it just has this very, it, it lightens up a little bit and it just has this nice, like fresh scent. And it, it it's very, it's good because it, it stays consistent through most of the day, and then it just kind of slowly fades, which is fine. It's 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 usually that's expected, but yeah, it uh, it does. It just fades nicely. It doesn't really change. It just kind of the volume goes down, and it's it's really nice. Let me talk to you about that lesson that I had to learn. So, I'm an oil and balm guy. I always, if I get matching scents, I will put both in my beard. That's just how I roll. I don't like to take time. I don't like to take time out of my day to like go and redo the beard stuff. So that's why I like oil and balm. It holds up a majority of my day. So here's what happened. I get the product, and I use my normal amount that I do on any other product in my hand. Usually it's about, I don't know, like the beard oil is probably a little bigger than my pinky. Pinky nail is about how much I put in my hand. Yeah, probably a little bigger than that. Maybe about a dime. So I put that in. Got it in my beard. I'm like, okay, cool. Oil, it goes in fine. No biggie. You get the balm. Now the balm, guys, the balm is, here it is. This is, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, this is a very firm balm. I mean, it's it's very firm. You can definitely tell there's some good wax going in here. Um, and with the balm, I normally cover up a majority of my thumbnail when I scrape it out. So I did that. First two days, I do it. And I'm like, okay, it smells nice. But it feels, it just feels heavy, and I, you know, I play with my beard sometimes when I think. Now, hold on, I'm, this is, I'm not, this is where the lesson comes in. So the next day I had a fresh beard, and I'm going, all right, let's, let's put this stuff in. And I go, I'm going to try and just put it in a little lighter, okay? So I did. And that was one of the coolest things, because um, with the oil and the balm, it, it showed me that with this particular set, less is more. I did one. Two. I did two little, two little half pumps, and I don't know if you can see. There you go. So it's a relatively clear oil. All right. 
That was just like a pump and like a half is all I did there. Like a pump and a half pump. Okay. And it's on my hands. I'm going to put it in my beard. And you can see it's got some decent shine. And that feels really good. Uh, and I, I don't know if it's just the concentration of the oil or maybe it's just how the pump delivered it to my hand. It was throwing me off, but it was. So for I would recommend if you guys got a beard close to my size, maybe even a little bigger, I'd say pump, pump and a half. Or I'd say like a pump and a half. Start conservative, do a pump. But yeah, that so this is this feels very good right here. Okay. Let's get to the bomb. So here we go. We got the the bomb here. Now this one, like I said, it's very firm. I think this is what was probably adding that like heaviness that I was describing. Not maybe not necessarily the oil. Now on other bombs, this would be this actually would be kind of a small amount for me. That's that's just a little it's an itty bitty bit right there. Okay. And get it right in the hands. You can see it. Emulsifies pretty nicely. Finish with a brush, and that's that's how I use it. Uh, I just had to learn to use a little bit less, and in this situation, guys, less is more. And with this particular, it, at least with the oil and bomb, uh, that just kind of really shows that there's a lot of there's a little bit of value there, in the sense that it, you know you can stretch these a little further than what you're probably accustomed to using. Um, you know, having castor oil in the blend does make for a thicker oil. I do like the weight of the oil. And then um, having that, that's just a heavier bomb. It, this performs and holds up for me most of the day. Um, I really, I, I enjoyed it. It was a, it's a very good product. Um, this, I really did, I did enjoy this sweet scent. And yeah, it's, it's actually a really nice one for summer. Uh, I liked wearing it in the morning. I don't know why. It just felt nice to wear in the morning. Billy sent over a, a sample. And this is the, the Breakers Bay Rum. And I got to tell you, his, he's got a really good sample pack. Uh, I looked at the website. Uh, these sample bottles are great. I used this a few days, and I don't know if you can tell. I still have a decent amount in there. I used it a couple times. So you're really going to get some good use out of these samples. And this one in particular, um, I used after I shaved because the smell reminded me of that old time, like maybe if you have a grandfather or your dad, um, when he would shave, they'd have that like, um, I hate saying it, but it's the only one I can think of. It's like it's like an Old Spice smell, but this is like way nicer than that. This is like a much more refined scent. It's it's so like it's got that classic masculine, fresh, clean scent. Oh man, I loved using. It. I shaved and I would use it, and I loved. It. I love the way I smelled most of the day. I used it about three times during in, during the course of my week, um, either in the evening um, when I would shave, or even sometimes the, even sometimes on my day off. I used it, so it was very nice. I really enjoyed this scent. Uh, Billy and team at Beard Circle, you guys got some really good things going on. Um, guys, check them out. They got some good offerings. Um, one thing I do like, the Beard Circle is a reference to the Vikings, but they the, the company did start in Tennessee, and so what I like is they kind of reference some things from the South. They're in Ohio now, but they do reference some things from the South in some of their titles. Um, they got like a Southern Gentleman one, which it sounds, that sounds super interesting. Um, and they got some other good ones. So check their website out, guys. They got some really good things going on. Uh, I think this is a, it's a pretty cool little company. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Hit that subscribe button, and I hope you have a great week. Take care.